The Forbidden City, also known as the Palace Museum, is a grand palace complex located in the heart of Beijing, China. Situated in the center of the city, the Forbidden City covers an area of 72 hectares and is surrounded by a moat and a 10-meter high wall that is 3.4 kilometers long. The palace served as the imperial residence and political center of China for almost 500 years during the Ming and Qing dynasty. The Forbidden City is a masterpiece of Chinese architecture and design. It is a popular tourist attraction and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Welcome back to the Travel Guide. In today's video, we will be highlighting the Forbidden City and everything it has to offer. The construction of the Forbidden City began in 1406 during the reign of the Ming Emperor Yongle. It took 14 years to complete and required the labor of over 1 million workers. The palace complex covers an area of 72 hectares and contains over 9,000 rooms. The Forbidden City is surrounded by a moat and a wall that is 10 meters high and 3.4 kilometers long. The architecture of the Forbidden City is a masterpiece of Chinese design. The palace complex is divided into two parts, the outer court and the inner court. The outer court was used for ceremonial purposes and includes three main buildings, the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the Hall of Central Harmony, and the Hall of Preserving Harmony. These buildings were used for important state ceremonies such as the emperor's coronation and his birthday celebration. The inner court was the living quarters of the imperial family and includes the Palace of Heavenly Purity, the Palace of Earthly Tranquility, and the Hall of Mental Cultivation. The Palace of Heavenly Purity was the residence of the emperor and empress, while the Palace of Earthly Tranquility was the residence of the emperor's concubines. The Hall of Mental Cultivation was used as the office of the emperor during the Qing Dynasty. The Forbidden City also contains a number of gardens, temples, and pavilions. These structures were used for relaxation and entertainment by the imperial family. One of the most famous structures in the palace complex is the Hall of Clocks, which houses a collection of timepieces from the Ming and Qing dynasties. Today, the Forbidden City is a popular tourist attraction and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a symbol of China's rich cultural heritage and is a testament to the country's architectural and artistic achievements. The Palace Museum is also home to a vast collection of cultural artifacts, including ceramics, paintings, and calligraphy, which provide insight into the art and culture of ancient China. Visitors to the Forbidden City can explore the palace complex and learn about China's imperial history. The Palace Museum offers a wide range of exhibits and tours, and visitors can see firsthand the incredible architecture and design of the palace complex. The palace is also surrounded by beautiful gardens and parks, making it a popular destination for both tourists and locals. With that, we've reached the end of our video. To see a list of our favorite and most useful travel gadgets, check the link in the description. We hope you enjoyed our video on the Forbidden City and everything it has to offer. If you've enjoyed our video, check out these other recent videos from the Travel Guide. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.